Hey guys, this is JT Tutorials um, with yet another Micromedia Fla Macromedia Flash MX tutorial, and um, this one you may have seen my quiz game tutorial, how to make a quiz game and use buttons and everything. Well, yeah, I promised I would make a video on that about how to make answers you could type in, and I completely forgot about that. I was reminded, so thank you. Uh, yeah, so here it is. This was a request, I guess, sorta. In just a broken promise, I made. All right, so yeah. Well, you're making a quiz game, and you want to make an answer you could type in. So what you're gonna do? Okay. Make your question. What is one plus two? This time. All right. And now, make a text box. Down here, it says static text. Hit the drop down menu here and click input text. And then click this button here to put a border around it. I can move this. I'm gonna size that down a little bit, make it a little too big. And then next to that, make another, make a box. Oops, I shouldn't have made that. Okay, make a, take your rectangle tool and just make a box. I'll make it like, like gray. Alright, there we go. And I'll take your text tool over it. Size this down. Type in enter or go or submit or anything like that. I'm just gonna make mine go or enter. Yeah, enter, okay. <laughs> I can't make up my mind today, guys. I'm sorry. And now make sure this is static text. I just put that right over it. All right now, highlight that box right there and that enter. Press F8 to convert it to a symbol. Make it a button. Just type in like enter button or something like that. Click OK. And then on this button for the actions, here's what you're going to put. I have this script right here. Alright, so um, what this is saying is um, when this button is clicked or when the enter key is pressed, if certain variable, I'm going to make the variable answer equals, and then since the answer is 1 plus 2, I'm going to put 3 here. And now the same variable that you put over there goes here. So I have an answer and then type in a different option that you could possibly put in like three you don't have to put in another option you could just highlight all this up to or and just delete it but I want to keep it for now um, and then go to and then if it's right you want to go to and stop your correct frame so my correct frame will be two and if it's wrong you want to go make it go to the incorrect frame which for me will be three all right um, one thing I forgot to do on this frame, of course, you got to do the stop variable. And now go back to your text, and whatever variable you put in here, which I and I put answer, you're gonna put right here where it says var variable. <laughs> Type in answer for me. Okay, and now make two blank frames. I said that this one was going to be the correct frame, and okay, you win. That looks like an R. Yeah, my keyboard's like I don't have a mouse. My mouse is like in my keyboard, so it's like one of those little red dot mouses that the old laptops have. And it's on a computer, not even a laptop. But okay. Spelled lose wrong. Oh, I didn't. What am I saying? But you fail. Okay. So yeah, you have a win frame, and then after that, a lose frame. And then on my failed frame, I'm going to have a retry button. Ok, 
Okay, make that static text. Or make a box. I know that looks bad quality right now. F8, convert to symbol, retry button. And now for the actions. On, press, go to, and stop, one. Okay, and now when we try this out, what is one plus two? Four. Enter. You failed. Retry. What is one plus two? Three. You win. Let's try this again. Three. Too many R's and A's, I mean. That was just stupid by me. Alright. And that's how you do it. I'm sorry that this took so long. Uh, I haven't had a lot of time lately, and if I did, my computer's running low on space. I'm trying to get my second disc, hard drive disc in there. But yeah, um, more tutorials coming soon. Don't worry, guys. Alright, well, this has been JG Tutorials. You're not already subscribed. Please subscribe. I appreciate it. And, uh, peace out.